Hi everybody, I'm Lola Singer of Light Language Arts and I am back again to look at one of the cards in the Toth Tarot deck, explain a little bit about its imagery, and then tune into it um, using my intuition to bring forth a song in light language that reflects the energy of the symbols we see in the card. So we are now looking at Atu number three, that's the Roman numeral on the top of the card, and this is the Empress. And the Empress represents mm, the lovely energy of the mother, um, the birther, the mother who loves her children. We talked earlier about the priestess being the first birther of energy because she's combining male and female energy, positive and negative, together. Um, but this is the first one with that really lovely maternal feeling of I create and I love all my creations. She also represents will to form. So if you can imagine, there's all kinds of energy going on. She's the one who collects the energy, sits with it, lets it gestate, and then births it out so that it, a, it's a form of releasing a creation, a thought, an idea, and ma eventually manifesting it down to earth. When you look closely at her, um, you can see that there are moon symbols all around her, which are traditionally associated with the female. She represents the great unknown, the darkness of the womb, the womb where creation comes from, but is a great mystery as well. She also has her arms in the position for the alchemical symbol of salt, which alchemically is associated with females as well, and is also the reason why females um, are associated with the ocean. Um, they represent, uh, the waves represent intuition, flow. It's like a big womb. It's great, it's dark, it's scary, but it's also a solvent, a cleanser. So the deep, deep, dark part of the ocean and then the lovely, beautiful part of the ocean. So you can kind of think of the priestess as the dark part. And then this is the will to form, taking that energy, birthing it out so it can be experienced. She loves her children so much that there's a symbol. It looks like a swan, but in, book, in books about tarot, they usually call it a pelican. And the pelican is piercing its own heart to feed its children. That goes back to the fact that certain birds have a little red spot on their beak so that when they are feeding the birds, the, the birds can tune into it. But in metaphor, they were thinking that was her sacrificing herself for her children. That's how much she loves them. You can see waves around her. Once again, the great sea. In um, She's called Bina on the Tree of Life. And the goddess Bina is holding the, um, the blue lotus of wisdom in her hands. She's very sweet, very loving, very strong though, but in the way that reminds us to take care of ourselves. So when I get this card in a reading, a lot of times I ask people, have you been taking time to give yourself self-care? Have you been kind to yourself? Because that's what she's about. Once again, she loves her children so much that no matter what they do, she'll stand by them and she'll support them. So when I get this card, I also try to explain to people, you know, can you think of the best mom possible? If you could imagine a mom who bakes the cookies and kisses your boo-boo and helps you with your math, all that kind of support, helps you through the mm, awkward stages of life without condemning you or teasing you or, you know, feeling like there's something, you know, when we go through those teenage years and we feel so awkward, this is the mom that helps you through that with love and grace. So I hope I've given her, you guys, a, a feeling for how wonderful this particular energy of this card is. And I suspect it's going to be a really nice song. So let me tune into you, into her energy, and see what comes out. The Empress. Miselo no malaya nese reana I anoma ho maha malana seo. 
Iloso mahamalenete o Imoso mala no mahalene se ano Amakelene a Amale Saleo Y solo Makaya Niteo Kosolotas Estimara En meo Ama Aleteo Tohono Maya Teo Sera Ah, que se yo topas Sera Ana te colo Ala se colo Ana te colo Maya te sono mas Sero Ah, te coro Mana te cono ma Ala e coteo so kera malaya, ana se colo, i teo no serana, i se colo na maala teo te para. Anteo, ma se oto, ke ala, maala teo no maya teo sono mas, e coronio ala te coro, a se. Wow, I just don't want to budge out of this lovely energy. I can feel it up here. It's in my, it's mostly up here, like the third eye and the crown. I'm just really lovely, lovely, lovely energy. Very, hmm, how can you be, it's like strong and gentle at the same time. Um, it's like the touch, you know, your mom touches your hair. It's very sweet. So I think we did actually connect with the Empress and I can feel her love. It sounded like a very Hebrew song to me, which makes sense because I'm trained in Kabbalah. And I do when I see this card, I see the Bina. Bina is the Hebrew word for, for the Sephirah, where she dwells. Um, lovely, 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 lovely energy. I'm sorry, not Sephirah, but the path where she dwells. Um, wow. I just have nothing more to say. I think mom's love came through. Um, there was a hint of sadness to the song, which I understand because she loves her children so much that when they grow up and leave, even if it's a concept like an idea, when that idea gets birthed and leaves, there's a sense of emptiness too, you know. So mom came through, bless her heart. I'll see you next time with the um, emperor. And um, if you like the videos, please, please feel free to uh, um, share them and subscribe. All, the, all those good things that YouTube loves, I love them too. Thank you. Bye-bye.